we don't know about you guys, but we love to use Google Maps on our Android smartphones daily. We think it's one of the most helpful apps Google has ever made. From finding our way home and exploring all the tasty cuisine, Google Maps has made our life extremely easy. Hence, in this video, we will show you some of our favorite Android Google Maps tips and tricks that you will find super useful. Google Map is designed in a way so that you can operate it with one hand. So for example, you don't need to use a double hand to zoom in and out inside of the map. Instead, double tap anywhere on the map screen and slide your finger up and down. Awesome, right? As expected, Google Maps has pretty close ties with Google Assistant and it can be beneficial when you want to interact with the map hands-free. Before using it, make sure OK Google Detection is enabled on the navigation settings. If enabled, ask your assistant to find you a nearby gas station and play your favorite music or whatever you want without taking your attention off the road. Do you know that you can save your parking location on Google Maps? If your answer is no, then let us show you how you can do that. Within the Google Maps, tap on this blue icon which indicates your current location. It will bring up some options where you can save it as your parking spot. This way, you'll never forget where you have parked your car. Not just a parking spot, you can even create custom labels and save any location you want in your Google Maps. Then you can access them from the Save menu and make any changes you want. We all know that Google Maps always shows you how long a specific route is. But what most of us don't know is that we can plot our own custom routes and see precisely how far we are going to go. Tap and hold on the map to drop a pin, then pull up the menu and select measure distance. Now, select the route where you want to go and add as many points as you like. Google Maps will accurately measure the distance for you. Google Maps is not only good for driving, but it's also invaluable if you heavily rely on public transport. This is because it shows you all the available public transportations along with the routes and stoppages in real time. You can enable it from the map layers. Another trick we like to do with Google Maps is to add music to our drive and control it within the map. To do so, head towards the navigation settings and turn on the show media playback controls. There, you'll see a list of compatible apps installed on your device. So now, Every time you start a new journey, you'll see this app icon which you added earlier. No one likes traffic, and Google Maps can help you avoid that. Just choose a destination and tap here to see what's the best and worst time to visit this area. Other than that, you can also tell maps to avoid highways, tolls and ferries by simply checking them on. Navigation in Maps isn't always from A to B. Sometimes, you need to move on to C and D as well. To accommodate your needs, Google Maps allows you to add up to 9 extra stops in your journey. To do that, load up the navigation and hit on these 3 dots and then select Add Stop. You will then notice an extra destination bar on the map which you can also easily rearrange. With Google Maps, you don't need to text your close ones giving them your estimated arrival time. It lets you share your trip progress so they can check where you really are. That also makes it a handy security tool in certain situations. You can access this feature by swapping up the bottom toolbar from the navigation. If you're terrible at remembering which place you have been, then you're in luck, because Google Maps makes it easy for you with its timeline feature. Hit your avatar on the map and tap on the Your Timeline option. It will show you exactly where you have been daily. However, if you'd like to keep things private, you can turn this feature off. Just open up the Settings menu and select Personal Content. From there, turn off Location History. But we like to keep this feature on since we find it really cool. And whenever we need to be off the grid or at least don't want Google to record our journey for specific trips, we just turn on the Incognito mode.
we gotta admit that cell services aren't always consistent. Therefore, downloading the portion of a map for offline usage seems like a great idea. So, press your avatar from the right side of the search bar and tap Offline Maps. After that, select your own map and download as many areas as you need. Keep in mind that the larger the area, the more space it will take. Last but not least, Google Maps also makes it easy to find new places around your area. We find it exceptionally useful when we go to new places and have to find nearby hotels, restaurants, hospitals, shopping malls, and others. Google Maps also uses different filters so you can easily make quick decisions on which are open for now, which are rated for top, and things like that. So, that was all about our useful tips and tricks for Android users. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.